Now, voters are counting down to the weekend by-election for Kevin Rudd's former seat. The Labor Party is expected to hold Griffith. There will be 11 candidates on the ballot paper, including the Liberals' Dr Bill Glasson, who wants to build on the healthy swing he achieved at last year's federal election. We're going to get the latest now from Sky News political reporter Laura Jays. And Laura, as many people are looking at this as a foregone conclusion, is the race tightening? Well, it, well, it depends who you speak to. You've got to stay stand. But look, the race isn't as tight as many people in the Labor Party would have you believe. Yes, Bill Glasson has been a very energetic candidate. He has been uh, moving around the electorate every day with Glasson's gladiators. He's been very visible. He was pretty successful at the election in September. A 5.5% swing against Kevin Rudd, as you mentioned. He has good name recognition, but he's up against 100 years of history here. Only once in the last almost a century has a government won a seat off an opposition in a by-election such as this. And the last time that happened, well, it was in 1920. So a lot of history to contend with there. Uh, Terry Butler, she's the Labor candidate, and you'd have to say this is very much a two-horse race. Well, she's had a, a few issues trying to get her name out there. She's had less time uh, to really make a name for herself and make herself... Um, uh, forefront, in the forefront of people's minds in Griffiths. So, look, she has had a few challenges, but I think she's going to be pretty safe come Saturday night. What are the issues that people are talking about, if any, here, Laura? Well, Bill Glasson's very much been running his campaign on local issues, arguing that this is not a vote that will change government. It's one about having a strong uh, local representative in Canberra. Look, there has been a few, a bit of foray into the, the federal scene for Bill Glasson, but you'd have to say really only when Tony Abbott's been in town. There's been some talk of the uh, carbon tax, etc. When you look at Terry Butler, her campaign uh, compared to Bill Glasson, though, has been uh, more broader in more broad in scope. She's been uh, running very much a, a similar line to Federal Labor, the Commission of Audit uh, cuts. She's been uh, warning or playing into those fears that there could be more cuts to come on health, education, uh, childcare. But look, on Saturday night, um, neither candidate's going to get 50% of the vote here. So what it will come down to is preferences. There's a lot of minor parties, as you mentioned, nine, including the Greens. There was a strong showing for the Greens in September, and those preference flows will be very important and so will the result for momentum going into the first sitting week of federal parliament on Tuesday, Stan.